As of the day prior to filming this, I went to my second Comic Con. There is a video from the first time I went. I'll have that linked in the description if I remember to link it. <laughs> so yeah, this time I actually dressed up. So we're gonna go into what I did at Comic Con. First some footage and then like extra talking bits to make the video longer. Hi, I'm Emily, I'm on to the video. I got also I don't know what's happening with this hair at the moment at the moment my hair decides to go all superman and just like a bit of it is just decides to just like curl up every so often so at the, so I think that is very fitting to this I've talked about the Marvel franchise oh my god I don't talk about DC this, this is not me I talk about like Marvel stuff this is not right I've talked about the wrong franchise oh my god oh my god this is not right anyway <laughs> So yeah, um, I wanted to grab more footage, but it was like, you know, very hard. Conventions, they're busy. It's hard to walk a lot of the time. <laughs> so in part, just like hard to walk, you have to be like, like walking for like, there's like this one corridor always in that convention and it's like, but the rest is a lot easier to walk. So yeah, so... Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Props! Yeah, there was some cool props in the video. We've seen there was, um, I like replicas like Ghostbusters car. Some other cars that I didn't recognise. <laughs> Loads of Game of Thrones props. There was chair, the un chair with dragon eggs. That at first I thought they were headless pineapples. Or fluff of pineapples? Sp pineapples without the big spiky bit at the top. Would that be a headless pineapple? Let's say headless pineapples. I thought that was them at first and then I realised, oh, it's my real stuff in the world, like Game of Thrones, dragon eggs. They're probably dragon eggs and not pineapples without the big spiky bit. <laughs> so it tweet me if you know what the chair is because I, I I don't know what that chair is, but I sat in it because the other chair had a longer queue, and I was like, this chair has a shorter queue. I want to sit in a chair. I'll sit in this chair. <laughs> Um, what else? There was a cool Iron Man thing. There it is there. Cool Iron Man thing. Yo. Okay, so. I think it didn't say replica, so I'm pretty sure it's real. And it's just, I'm, I'm, you know, and you're like, it's too good to be real. Okay, so you know in the movies, Tony Stark had like that big room. Big, one of his like big rooms. Um, one of his big rooms. And it was also shown in She-Hulk as well. Um, let me do the fourth fall thing. And it had like all the suits lined up in like containers. And it was like. 18 of them it was two of them from that silver one and a broken one and i was like oh, I, I recognize that broken one the silver one i'm not sure if it's the silver it won't be the silver one like that's probably in some hidden warehouse in america marvel hidden hidden vault somewhere because no way they're letting the og tony stark robert downey jr suits go out <laughs> So yeah, the broken one, I'm pretty sure I remember, I, I was like, I recognise that broken one. Common, probably Iron Man 3 because there was about 10 suits in that movie. I lost track, there was, you know the big fight scene, the big the big fight bit at the end of that movie, I, I don't know how many suits there is, all different robots of all the suits, so many suits. 
And let's see, also perhaps there was some bikes from Stranger Things, which I know is significant because I remember a Simpsons episode <laughs> where they did, it was a tree also horrors where they did a parody of Stranger Things and they were going around on bikes. Yeah. I knew the bike, I knew, I know, I don't know much about that show, but I know they ride around, they like bikes in the 80s in that show. 80s kids ride on bikes. <laughs> that's my, no that's where my knowledge of that series stops with a bit of monsters thrown in. 80s kids running around on bikes with some monsters. That's, that's, that's where my knowledge of that show ends, basically. <laughs> So yeah, um, what else I'm trying to think? Oh my god, um, there was a lot of there was a lot of like um independent artists there, which is really cool. Independent businesses, which is really good, like trying to get more business, and that's always good. Support independent businesses when the good good independent businesses you support support the good ones. Like I remember, I got um some stuff from um like a vegan store that does like vegan products, and I was like that is very cool. I didn't know they were at first, and I don't know where like the business card because I like business cards. I like. I don't know, I'm so aggressive. I like to get business cards. And I said vegan and cruelty free. And I was like, that is very good. We love that. That is very good. Help any animals. That is good. That is very good. <laughs> so yeah, overall, very fun. Oh yeah, what does I dress up as? That's something I mentioned to start and just run over. If you've seen the picture and if you recognise it, Kate Bishop, because you'd see like the full outfit, like boots and stuff, and not in the Iron Man picture and in the phone picture. Kate Bishop, or as Leona says, Kate Bishop. That was the worst impression ever. I'm so sorry, Leona. <laughs> so yes, why? Because I bought the jacket and I was like, oh my god, now I need the now I need to dress up as um Kate for Comic Con. I've got like two, three weeks. I'm gonna dress up as Kate, why not? So yeah, overall, very fun. I would go again. And yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, people, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, follow Twitter, at Emily's Videos, underscore, and the Twitch, Emily Rose Live. And I'll see you next time, people. Bye! Yeah.